So, uh, hi, smiling face. welcome, Mayday citizens. Uh, welcome to um, the volunteers who are joining us on the call. Um, very excited to be um, uh, have, holding our first uh, Mayday Citizen Town Hall, uh, the 2016 election cycle. Uh, I'm Benjamin Singer. I'm the campaign manager for the Mayday Super PAC. Okay, great. Well, my name is Rebecca Arrington, and uh, I am a volunteer. Uh, I am the help desk coordinator, which means that along with uh, another volunteer named Rachel, we answer the emails, and uh, I just pitch in and do little odds and ends <laughs> for the campaign. But okay, great. And Rachel, nice segue. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yes, my name is Rachel Perkins, uh, and I help Rebecca with the, the help desk, answering emails that you send to info at Mayday, uh, as well as other odds and ends, training folks on the caller tool, uh, coming up with content for the websites, that kind of stuff. We all pitch in. Awesome. Thank you, guys. And uh, for anyone who was a citizen with Mayday last year, you might remember, um, as Mayday was getting started, um, Rachel and Rebecca responded to amazingly, you know, every personal request for information, just an unbelievable uh, volume, um, and, you know, that really set a new standard for the type of, um, you know, citizen responsiveness, uh, you know, that we would like to see in government um, and that we're trying to model here at Mayday, uh, where everyone's voice matters. Um, so kudos to Rachel and Rebecca for having been the, the front line of Mayday for so long, um, and that's actually... Uh, one reason I came on board so that we can hopefully create a system of uh, new opportunities for citizen involvement. And after all, that's why um, we are all here tonight together. Um, so I do want to share some updates on the campaign uh, before we um, open it up to a pre-submitted uh, question from a volunteer. Um, so as everyone knows, on May Day, May 1st, we uh, relaunched uh, the campaign with a new platform for citizen action to um, restore and repair our republic. Um, so since then, uh, thousands of people have already taken action. Um, we are at um, well over 2,000 people signing the letter um, from our co-founders Mark McKinnon and Lor Professor Lawrence Lessig to Congress. Um, we're all the way up at uh, over 2,400. Um, we have over 2,500 people who have offered to volunteer. Um, and we're, we've made hundreds of calls so far, um, more and more every day. Um, r right now, we're, we're over 500 calls, but uh, we, really, we really need to get that higher. Um, so um, I just wanted to provide that brief update and thank you to the many citizens who've been making calls um, and also letting us know about um, how the experience has been with the call tool. We've been uh, adding enhancements to it to try to make it easier to connect with even more representatives each time you call. So please um, do let us know. Send emails to info at mayday.us as that happens and we'll talk a little bit more about that call tool. Um, later on, but thanks to everyone who have gotten us to where we are right now. So, I um, want to open it up to questions. Uh, so, I believe we have Dallas Cole on. Um, Dallas, I'm not seeing your video, um, but you go ahead and um, share your audio and uh, let us know what was the question that you had about Mayday's work for the 2016 election cycle. Yeah, well, my main question was uh, you were transitioning from a electoral organization to more of a lobbying role for this next at least few months, it seems like. Uh, how long do you foresee that role being the case, and why are you making that transition? How do you think it's going to help in the 2016 election cycle? Thank you. That's a great question, and it's something we've been getting a lot of. Um, you know, Mayday launched this new vision of citizen involvement um, for the 2016 election cycle, different from what we did in 2014. A big reason for that is we have a lot more lead time, so it's a really good thing that we have this time. Um, the goal of this um, sort of lobbying phase, this ally campaign, um, is to close the gap on a majority in Congress before we even get, um, you know, to an election day. Um, you know, right now, for example, um, we have 148 uh, co-sponsors in the House of our various endorsed fundamental reforms. Um, so that's really exciting. Um, that's almost a third of the House. 
uh, supporting fundamental reform already. So we're only 70 away from a majority in the House. Now, is it realistic for our volunteers to be volunteering in 70 House races um, and for us to, you know, be running ads in 70 House races? Probably not, um, but we are confident that we have um, at least a key 47 representatives of that 70 um, who have a pretty good chance, some better, some worse, of coming on board to help get us closer to being within striking distance um, before we even get to an election day. Um, so right now it's evolving in terms of when we're going to um, you know, completely stop trying to get any more allies, but right now it's really key to see who those allies are. Um, my sense right now is through August, which as you guys might know, the August recess is when um, all members of Congress are home for the whole month. And um, use that opportunity for some last minute lobbying and then probably sometime around then or shortly thereafter switch over to um, purely electoral work, you know, calling voters, telling them who to vote for, you know, running any ads, um, you know, and, and any other um, election related activities that are going to be appropriate for those races. Um, yeah, does that, does that make sense or did you have uh, any follow up questions? Yeah, that does definitely make sense. Uh, I am curious, how will you be identifying the candidates you want to support in the 2016 election, and will you be focusing more on primary or general elections within that? Great question, again. And, um, and again, the fact that we have more lead time does open those possibilities to do more primary races. Um, you know, it is, an, it is a presidential election year next year, if you haven't heard. Um, I'm sure everyone on this call has, because uh, Mayday has some really smart citizens involved. Um, and that means that the primaries and the caucuses are even earlier in many states than they are in your typical congressional midterm election year, um, which makes the fact that we have this new lead time in our election cycle even, um, even greater. And we were involved in... Um, some primaries uh, last year, but just due to the nature of when May Day launched, you know, on May Day of 2014 of an election year, um, it made some of that pretty challenging. Um, and some of it impossible, as many primaries had already passed. So, um, in terms of which races we pick, which primaries, which general elections, um, that's something that, you know, really is up to those members of Congress. Uh, you know, I, I think, of course, we'd love to see uh, every candidate in every primary and every general election supporting fundamental reform. Um, but the reason Mayday exists is that is not the case, unfortunately. So um, if we can get to, let's say we get all 47 key representatives on board um, out of that 70, that leaves us 23 representatives short in the House. And we think if we get some of those 47 on board, some others will probably follow. Um, but, you know, it, it's going to be up to these members of Congress and the candidates challenging them in terms of what races we can get involved in. We're not ever going to support, you know, I don't Benj, I think you froze up there for a second. Let's give him just one moment to uh, catch up, and if not, uh, we'll move on. Are both leaders for reform? Um, that's an ideal scenario, and that's a case in which we won't have to get involved. Um, so we'll see which races we get involved in. But again, that's up to those candidates um, themselves. Does that make sense? Definitely. Thank you. Cool. All right. So um, I'm going to hand it over to Rebecca. I've been doing enough talking. Um, oh. Uh, I'm sorry if anyone's been having trouble hearing me. Um, I've been alerted that I might be having bandwidth issues. So this is a good time to hand it over to uh, Rebecca to lead the next portion of the call. <laughs> it was just a few seconds, Benj. It wasn't too bad. So, okay, so uh, as I mentioned, um, I am one of two people who uh, answers your questions. We've been getting a lot of questions lately about our calling campaign, our rep calling campaign. Hopefully you've all heard about it. <laughs> Hopefully you're all out there making calls, but in case you're not, let me uh, just break this down for you a little bit. So first of all, um, 
we need 280 uh, representatives to co-sign legislation uh, in the House in order to get a majority to pass reform. And uh, right now, and so right now we have uh, 148, and we need 70 more. And we are focusing on 47. So why 47? Well, we're focusing on 47 because you, uh, I'm sure many of you hopefully got the emails, um, a lot of you stepped up to the plate and uh, reached out and recommended leaders that, that you thought would be receptive. And so those are the people we're focusing on and we're hoping that these people, uh, that we can change some minds and get some of them on board and, uh, and uh, that they will be the key to getting even more of their colleagues on board for reform. Uh, so that's why we are targeting those 47 people. And if you go onto our website, uh, mayday.us, uh, mayday you'll notice you can click on leaders. And uh, that will show you uh, the reps who have already co-signed to, sp to sponsor reform. And it will show you the people that we are primarily reaching out, out to, although you should feel free to reach out to anyone you want. And if you go log on and you see that your representative has signed on to sponsor reform, uh, that's fantastic. You might want to just reach out and, and give them a little pat on the back, say thank you for being on the right side of this issue. Uh, so here's another big question. Why are we calling reps who are on our own? Um, it's, you know, it's, I think a lot of us are used to calling our own representatives. For, for some of you this may be a little bit new, um, but we have noticed uh, other campaigns doing this kind of thing and it seems to be working and, uh, you know, we just want to be we want to be heard, and uh, we want to be heard by. Uh, we, we feel that these reps should be hearing from, you know, citizens all across America, not just their own their own people. And we we want to make sure that uh, this issue stays at the forefront of their minds. And so, the more of us who call, you know, the better that is. Uh, so, so we really do need all hands on deck for this calling campaign. Uh, I hope that you'll log on to Mayday.us forward slash call and uh, sign into our call tool and make some calls. Um, little tip for you guys, uh, I know some people get really nervous uh, calling and speaking to this, the staff for these representatives. If that's you, call at night, call on a weekend when you know they aren't going to be there, you can leave a voicemail, it's just as effective. Uh, so Benj, um, would you be able to uh, screen share that uh, mayday.us forward slash call just so people can see it? or did did you not want to move away from that? Yeah, let me do that right now. That would be fantastic. So everybody could see, and I just kind of want to walk them through that page so it's as understandable and accessible as possible. Okay, I will share this. Let me know if it works for you. Okay. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, so you want me to go to the call page, right? Yes, please. So what people can do to go to the call page is, um, if you're already on the website, you can just hit make the call down here on the bottom right, um, or uh, you can always just go to mayday.us slash call. So that's what I'm going to do, and here I am. Okay. So um, I'm not going to read through every single little step here. That's something that you can do on your own. But I just wanted to point out um, how this works. What you do is you type in your phone number, and you'll notice we have a little disclaimer there. We will not share your number with any third party. Uh, you type in your phone number, and you type in your zip code. And then you click Call Congress. And then what happens is our system calls your telephone. And you'll hear um, a little pre-recorded message. and if your representative has not already signed on to co-sponsor reform, uh, what uh, will happen is you will be taken directly to your your rep. So you'll talk to them first. Now, if you uh, haven't, if your your rep hasn't, then I mean has, then you will not be uh, <laughs> led there, and you will go to different. Uh, uh, different reps and usually we show you five at a time and uh, but you can make as many calls as you want um, if you stop a calling session you can pick up where you left off uh, another day or another time um, so it's really easy to use um, so it will call you and then you'll be transferred to your representative uh, after you uh, speak to the staff or you leave your message then um, then you will be prompted uh, you'll, you'll press 
One, if to let us know if you had a successful call, meaning you actually got to leave a comment in some way or other. And two, if you didn't get to leave a comment. For example, you might encounter a situation where a representative doesn't have voicemail or it's all full. Um, so you'll do that little prompt and then you'll be taken right on to the next rep. And you can disconnect at any time. You have a lot of control in this process, so there's nothing to be concerned about. And you'll notice we even provide a little script there for you. Um, you know, basically, you just want to get across the point that we want these people to co-sponsor reform that will fundamentally change the way elections are funded. Uh, but there is a script there for you. You can feel re free to read it verbatim, use it as a guide, or, you know, if you're comfortable, just say whatever you want. That's, it's just, just there to help. <laughs> so, okay. So, I think we have one of our uh, volunteers, Rhonda who is uh, ready to make a demonstration, to, a call demonstration, so we can all see what, what uh, goes on during a call. Are we ready for that? Um, give me one second. Okay, fantastic. Yes, so I'm going to, so I'm just going on. Mm -hmm. Yes. Take action, call Congress. There it is. Okay. okay. And now my phone number. Rhonda, can you put that on speakerphone um, when you do call? Yes, certainly. Happy to. Awesome. Embarrass myself out loud and then look. Call for us. Okay. I'm going to get a phone call soon. <laughs> and here it is from Illinois. Answer it. Put it on speakerphone. Now let's get started. Star, connect to your legislator. Star, what did it say? To star. connect with your legislator. Oh, okay. Star. Just star? We are now connecting oh. to your legislator who has yet to sponsor more. Is it the first one on my list? That's right. So it's Senator Chuck Schumann. Okay. Oddly enough, no one's in the office. <laughs> but while you're waiting, I can tell you a joke. How did that all go? <laughs> we're able to speak to someone and leave a message. Press 2 if you weren't able to connect. Okay, I was not able to connect. I'm pressing 2. Nobody answered. There wasn't a machine. That was your first call. Okay, so the next one is Representative Bruce Hollikin. Is that how you pronounce his name? He's from Maine. We are now connecting you to a representative. Careful not to press any buttons with your cheek, especially. Yeah, I figured that. And smile right into my phone. I still want phones to hug my face. Hi, Representative uh, Poliquin. My name is Rhonda Rosenhack, and I am a U.S. citizen. My uh, niece and nephew live in your district. Uh, I'm calling you and leaving this message because it's very important to me that you become a leader in restoring a representative republic uh, and helping 
to create fundamental change. There are five proposals out there. I know that a number of them are Republican proposals. Please, please consider being a leader on this and supporting one of those bills. We really need this republic back the future of this country. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye. I was, so I'm pressing one. And it was a great message. Yeah. Great job. Okay. Thank you. You want me to try again? Ben? Guys? Do you want Rhonda to try any more? Or I think I think that was probably sufficient, especially can't, since we can't send uh, hear the other end very well. So, uh, okay. okay. No. That's great. And some people might wonder what's the deal, you know. So first of all, Rhonda, round of applause. Great calls. <laughs> um, I like or, the meet nephew bit, right? <laughs> that was great. I'm impressed that you knew that. Like if you know somebody who lives in their district, that it, it helps almost as much as saying, I live in your district because I'm an influential, influential person on my niece and nephew. Cool. That is a good point. Um, <laughs> and, you know, you you probably noticed, Rhonda, um, that um, it started with a senator, but so far we've only discussed um, the House of Representatives. So yes. just to um, explain that for citizens, because that's something that um, can be a little confusing, uh, last year in Congress there were proposals in both the House and the Senate. Um, this year we're expecting that to be the same, but right now the proposals that were in the Senate um, have not yet been reintroduced this year. So we're focused on the House for right now, just because there is legislation that would be very easy for these representatives to sign on to. Um, although we're working on getting a Republican bill reintroduced in the House. Um, right now there's the Democratic bill, uh, Government by the People, um, and another one, um, but the Republican legislation hasn't been in. Um, so that's in the same sort of uh, you know, the same state that um, all the legislation is in right now in the Senate. Uh, so that's not to stop us. Um, you know, if senators, if this is something that's really important to senators, they'll work to get that reintroduced. We do expect that to come pretty soon, um, but we have to keep the pressure on. So thanks for making the calls. Uh, Rebecca, shall I hand it back over to you? Sure. Um, so what we're going to ask right now is uh, since we've all just seen the call tool and we've all just heard an example while it's fresh in our minds, we were hoping that uh, you all would join us in making calls for about 10 minutes. And uh, after we're finished, um, then we'd like to uh, come back and uh, Benj has a, a just one little sneak peek that he wants to give you, uh, something that we're thinking of, of doing with the campaign, and then now uh, we're going to give you... Uh, ways that you can get your feedback to us about that. So um, let's take about 10 minutes to make those calls. And I'm going to suggest that before we make the calls, uh, we give Rebecca about 15 uh, seconds to go get her telephone, her cell phone, which she <laughs> forgot. So um, I'm just going to step away for just a few seconds and get that phone. And uh, then we are all going to make calls together. And um, Ben, do you uh, want to maybe take all of our microphones off and maybe just do one at a time so we're not and do you have that control? Yeah, I th I believe I can do that. Um, well, we could un we could mute and unmute ourselves too. If that's that would right. Be we can mute and unmute ourselves. And for anyone who's tuning in on YouTube, um, I know we have a small group tonight because we we didn't promote this beyond a pretty small group of volunteers. Um, so uh, for anyone who is tuning in on YouTube, feel free also to um, use the mute control on your computer. Um, or use the mute control um, on your um, YouTube uh, uh, window. Player. Um, yeah. Your player. Thank you. Your video player. Um, it's <laughs> the little horn at the bottom next to the pause symbol. So, um, uh, so Rebecca, go get your phone, and <laughs> we'll start making calls. Uh, Rachel, um, if you want to uh, make a call for folks <laughs> here, um, I'm happy to put you I, on. I actually I actually unmuted to tell you that I act, I have to leave. We have people arriving at my house right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, but I uh, I wish you all a good evening in making calls, and I'll be back online later this evening to do the same. 
I leave messages. <laughs> Sounds great. Sounds right, great. Thanks. Well, Talk I will to you make a later. call now. Talk to you right, later, Rachel. Um, Thank you so much. So I'm just gonna go back to my calls. All right, great. And then we will reconvene in ten yeah. minutes. So let's at okay. um, nine. Let's just do it at a nice round number at nine forty-five Eastern time. We'll reconvene. Um, so I, we can give anyone who's watching a sneak peek as to some of the next steps of the campaign and get you all's input on um, on that next step because uh, we really need some leaders. So um, uh, yeah, time to make calls. Let's reconvene at 9:45. Okay. Excellent. All right. So no one listen to me. Feel free to put um, put me on mute um, unless you want to hear another example call before you start making your calls. All right. So um, I'll do a screen share again for anyone who's interested. Um. Hey, Ben, I'm back. Hey. Can you, can gonna... you go ahead and mute my microphone, and uh, maybe you can just tell us individually to unmute. Sure, go for it. Well, so Rachel had to head out. Um, Rhonda's making calls again, so I'm going to start. I'll start off and make some some example calls. I'm going to do a screen share um, while I do that. So currently I live in Chicago, and uh, I told everyone to go ahead and, and mute me while they make calls, but um, they're welcome to listen in um, uh, if they need to hear more calls. Okay, so I'm getting a call, putting on speaker. Thanks for calling Mayday Pack. Now let's get started. Press star to connect to your legislator. Okay, I'm pressing star and I'm seeing Senator Mark Kirk as my first option. We are now connecting you to a senator who has yet to sponsor reform. Press star at any time to disconnect from your legislator. Okay. So when I get disconnected. Hello, this is Senator Mark Kirk. Thank you for contacting our Washington, D.C. office. My staff and I are ready to assist you. To leave a comment for me about issues or legislation, please press 1. For information about our office, your well. opinions matter to me a great deal. After the tone, please leave your comment along with your name, address, phone number, and email address. And our office will get back to you as soon as possible. Hi, uh, Senator Kirk. Uh, my name is Benjamin Singer, and I'm a voter in uh, Illinois. Um, and I'm asking you to be a leader in the fight to restore our republic to the people. Uh, we need you to support legislation to change the way members of Congress raise money for their campaigns. Um, right now, there are both Republican and Democratic proposals um, in Congress, and so we'd love for you to sign on to a Republican proposal. You can see the full list at repswith.us, R-E-P-S-W-I-T-H dot U-S. And I'm hoping you will please consider um, supporting at least one of these bills. Um, How did that call go? Press 1 if you were able to speak to someone or leave a message. Press 2 if you weren't able to connect. I left a message, so I'm going to hit 1. Four more to go. Press star to connect to your legislator. All right, pressing star, and I'll do another screen share so you can see what my screen looks like. We are now connecting you to a representative who has yet to sponsor reform. Press star at any time to disconnect from your legislator. And I'm seeing Representative Bruce Polikman from Maine, District 2. Thank you for calling the office of Congressman Bruce Pollockwin representing Maine's 2nd Congressional District. Okay. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to speak with you. Our office hours are from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. In the meantime, we encourage you to visit our website, pollockwin.house.gov, where you can find information about our main services, constituent services, and issues that are most important at the 2nd District. Record your message.
Who's making calls? That was your so second you call. Hear from Three more to go. Thank you for calling the office of Congressman David Kito. Unfortunately, the office is currently closed. Please feel free to leave a call. We appreciate your feedback. Sorry, cannot leave a message. Well, people must be calling because uh, I'm running to a full mailbox. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't able to connect because I think you were connecting at the same time. <laughs> oh, okay. I got a full mailbox while I'm pressing star. I did too. Kristen Cinema's mailbox is full. Hmm. Well, I guess this is what happens when you get a bunch of people calling at once. Hmm. That's right. I'm going to transfer back to Rhonda to hear how things are going with her. Okay. All right, I think Rhonda's still on mute, so I'm going to just stay on until um, she gets off mute.
Rhonda, do you want to tell people how the five calls went? Sandy Levin of the 9th District of Michigan. Oh, I just called them. If you would like to leave a message, please do so after the meeting. If you are a constituent looking to voice your opinion on an issue, thank you for calling. Hi, my name is Rebecca Arrington. I'm a United States citizen and a voter. And I'm calling because I'm concerned with the way that our elections are currently funded. I'd like to see fundamental change and reform in the way that elections are funded. Um, there are currently five different reforms available that uh, Representative Levin could sign on to postponer. And uh, they're both Democratic and Republican. And I would just like to ask him to please consider uh, supporting one of those bills. Thank you very much. OK. OK. Dan, do you want me to I've got share? I've got first five. So. Great. Yeah, I got through my five as well. Okay. Some of them wasn't able to leave a message. Some yeah. I was. What about you, Rhonda? Yeah, also the same thing. There were two I couldn't reach. Um, you know, I, if I can just say I have issues with word recall. I have some health issues, and um, I have issues with word recall, and I can... Uh, an ordinarily very articulate person, I get befuddled easily, which is why I uh, wrote that blog piece uh, to a certain extent. And I think that even befuddled, you know, in one of them, the last one I just did, I just said, look, I'm losing my words, but I hope you can see that this is important to me. We need our representative democracy back, and we can't do it out here. You have to do it. So even if you lose the script, if you just say, you know what I'm talking about better than I do. Right, I'm sure you were <laughs> so great. You know, I'm, I, I tend to be the same way, but um, I don't know about the rest of you. It is very distracting to be having to hang out and wondering, oh, is it loud enough? Can anybody hear me? And paying attention to this screen and that screen. It's a miracle that I got any words out at all. So I'm sure you were great. Do not feel bad. Um, we're just trying to give people a sense of what this is going to be like. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, you know, so it's a little mini version of public speaking, and it's and it's nerve wracking. <laughs> yeah, it, it is for a lot of people. Well, thank you so much for being here to do that. I'm sure everyone really appreciates it. I know Benj and I do. Um, Benj, uh, should we move on from the calls, or do you want to give people a few more minutes? Yeah, I think we're ready to move on. Thank you guys for making calls. I I felt you know knowing that I'm making calls and you guys are making calls and hearing that we're calling some of the same people, it really makes it like palpable and tangible that we are like putting pressure on and making it clear that we care about this. So um, yeah, if you guys um, want, I'm actually going to give this sneak peek now, so feel free to put yourself on mute, um, especially if you feel a sneeze coming on. Uh, so um, the one thing that we're looking to do uh, at the end of this month um, is meet with representatives. Now that doesn't sound crazy, but one thing we want to do to make sure that there's enough pressure um, before that is we want to make a thousand calls before May 22nd because May 22nd is when representatives come back to their home districts for about a week. Some of them, sure, might take a, a vacation uh, to you know to Hawaii or um, to the U.S. Virgin Islands or something during that time. That's their prerogative. Um, but a lot of them will be using that time to go home, um, meet with constituents, do some fundraisers. Um, and so that's going to be a key time that we can um, put pressure on. So what Mayday is looking for is citizens who are interested in doing this. Um, this is obviously taking citizen involvement to a very new level from you know where it has been um, in you know, in, in last year's campaign and what we've been doing so far this year, you know, signing a letter online and making calls. So now we really want you to get a group of people together and meet with your representative. So um, if your representative is a potential leader, again, that's someone who's not currently a leader for reform, and you are interested in um, helping set up an in-district lobby meeting uh, in the last week of May, um, or one of the weekends around there, please email info at mayday.us. Again, that's info, I-N-F-O, at mayday, M-A-Y-D-A-Y dot U-S, uh, with the subject line, um, citizen lobbying. 
um, or whatever subject line floats your boat. Maybe it's the name of your representative, but um, citizen lobbying will help us flag that. Um, and we want to work with you to help you meet with your representative and get a group of other May Day supporters to meet with your representative in the last week of May. And this is something that we want to start out in three to five districts. So we want your feedback. Um, please let us know what um, what you think of this idea. Um, feel free to send that to info at mayday.us as well. Feel free to use the link that you see on YouTube um, right now um, that says be a part of the conversation. Click here to join the audience for this Hangout on Air. And if you click that, you'll actually become one of these uh, faces at the bottom of the screen and you'll be able to talk with us directly. So um, feel free to do that. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you want to be a leader for reform and get your member of Congress to be a leader for reform. Um, so on that note, I'm going to wrap it up. Um, we've you know covered where the campaign is so far. Um, we answered some great questions. Thank you to Dallas um, and Rhonda uh, and everyone else who is submitting questions. Um, who's taking an interest in May Day, and thank you everyone for making calls um, and making your voice heard uh, to repair our republic. So we'll, I'll just do a quick round. Uh, Rebecca? Thank you so much everyone. We really appreciate you being here and, uh, and jumping in to support this effort. Absolutely. Rhonda? Um, I'm with you. <laughs> awesome. And Dallas, if you're able, um, Thank you so much for submitting the question. Feel free to, to wish everyone uh, goodbye. But um, anyway, from me, thank you. On behalf of Mayday.us, uh, we appreciate your support. Please um, forward emails, share our social posts with your friends. Let's build this movement. And, um, and thank you for being part of it. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Rebecca. Bye.